So AMC stock closed around $951 last Friday, which was really great because it was really the first green day after seven straight days closing on the red. And uh, that was tough. You know, those days are really days where you kind of doubt a little bit. I mean, even though you have a lot of confidence, you mean your due diligence, your research, you start to doubt a little bit like, man, this thing, and it kind of, you know, creeps into you, into your emotions, into your mental, in your mindset. But definitely, um, I think it may have to done okay, of course, with the manipulation and the shorts being short and continue to attack the share price, especially when at the time we did have the short shares availability back to almost 2 million shares. And right now, I think it's down to 150,000. But I think AMC also mentioned on the earnings call that, you know, those 43 million shares that they communicated last week at the market program, you know, they will progressively and gradually unload those shares in order to raise capital until 2022 or 2023. So out of the 43 million shares, which are not new shares, but shares that was already counted as part of the outstanding shares, so it won't cause a major or any dilution at all. So because of that, I think they, they mentioned selling 13 million shares. You can go back here to the, uh, um, the script and you see here, you know, something around those near where they say, okay, we're able to sell 15.5 million shares at raising $133 million on May 5th. And I think the average cost is around $970. So $970, it's around here, okay, on May 3rd. But I do think when you do have that much big amount that you want to sell and liquidate your position uh, in the market, especially as, as the issuer, you just don't, you know, do it at one shot. You, you, the brokers and the market makers have to, you know, send it in chunks, you know, small chunks, one million shares, two million shares, maybe five million shares, you know. So I think last week might also explain why we were continuously going down day after day because AMC was kind of also, you know, unloading some of those dozen million shares. But I think averaging down, I mean, averaging the cost of at least all those chunks they ended up having around 9.70 cents. Now, what is interesting is, as we do have a lot of institutions getting in heavily into AMC, you know, we talked about the biggest bank in France, BNP Paribas, we talked about BlackRock uh, buying heavily, we talked about a lot of brokers, we talked about another company linked to Nancy Pelosi and her husband buying heavily. Guys, we're talking about millions and millions of shares. So definitely that will, increase the buying pressure okay it would increase the buying pressure causing an uptrend to peak next week and we can already see that coming into the chart here so we can see right here that we are you know kind of reversing a little bit here and with such amount of million of shares getting bought by the suits i definitely expect this to go back at least to the 1060 range and break that if it continues to, to to go up to 1150 and then definitely once it does i think we break that break that wall and go straight back to 14 dollars but <sighs> the hedges are brought to margin to be margin calls you know especially those not having a lot of capital uh requirements at citadel and um, other hedges have the you know causing even more uptick on the uptrend so guys we'll see technical analysis doesn't have to happen all the time especially when you look at a chart but amc stock is so different and there are so many moving pieces happening with this that sometimes technical analysis doesn't even make sense but i definitely expect an uptick an uptrend as we go back up here uh, from where we were last week so We'll see.